Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, do you have the mind of a champion? We're going to hear from a leading national expert next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, do you have the mind of a champion? When I think about champions, I think about some of the greatest of all time, like Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, and they have a certain focus, a mental focus and a routine that they do every single day. Well, that can also apply to the business world. To talk about that today, Dr. Julie Bell. She's with Chartwell Partners. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yes. Well, I want to hear more about your background. So you started out uh, in sports psychology? I did. So I went to Oklahoma State undergrad and I got my degree in psychology. And then I went to the University of Virginia and I studied sports psychology. And I honestly thought I would work with athletes my entire career, but it's not therapy, it's coaching. And so I would have to have thousands of athletes to sustain a pra uh, practice. I was living in Oklahoma at the time. And so I decided that I would dual track and teach the same principles that help athletes excel to other areas of life, um, whether it's the athletic playing field or the corporate playing field. Uh, confidence is confidence, whether you're standing over a three foot putt or parenting a four year old or uh, making the presentation of a lifetime. And so I was able to really work in both areas. I think it's fascinating because when you think about, you know, Joe Montana, he loved being down by seven points in the fourth quarter with time running out. And I can only imagine those huddles where everybody looked to him mm -hmm. and he's like, guys, we got this. Uh, for an executive, especially somebody leading uh, change inside an organization, they have to have that same confidence, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Um, there's some research on what's most important, price, product, or the confidence of the seller. And confidence of the seller absolutely influ influences close ratios. Yes. I want to talk about Chartwell Partners because you're a very unique firm. We're going to put the, the website up and just scroll down the website. Tell us more about retained executive search. So Chartwell Partners is a retained executive search firm, which means that companies call us to find their next C-suite uh, person. So we do succession planning. We'll go out and we'll start a search uh, from scratch where we, we learn the organization, we learn what they're looking for, and then we go out and we find the right next fit. Sure. And I have to imagine that leading a company today is different than it might have been 70 years ago or 50 years ago where, you know, it's my way or the highway. And, and there was no questions. Everybody just followed the boss. And now even the Gen Zs that are graduating college, they want a seat at the table. They want to be a part of the conversation. Talk about the unique um, nature of leading a company these days. Absolutely. Well, I lead the leadership advisory. And so I work on that um, area that you're talking about. How do you how do you have the team come together? How do you help everyone be their personal best so that the organization can be their personal best? And I'll tell you what's happening right now more than anything is people want to be developed. And so coaching has moved from Little League and Olympic athletes to not just a C-suite, but every Everywhere within the organization, people want to have that personal development plan. And so we help companies do that. Absolutely. She's also an author. We're going to put her book cover up on the screen, Performance Intelligence at Work. Tell us about that. Well, I decided that I would take all the things that I've learned from great athletes and coaches and put it together um, in a book. I was able to work with McGraw-Hill on it and come up with these five principles of performance intelligence. So we would say confidence, focus, a winning game plan, accountability, which we call self-discipline, and competitiveness. When you can align all of those, you can really perform your best when it matters most. She's also an amazing speaker. Let's go ahead and show her speaker reel.
Our day is about creating a mindset of a winning game plan so that when we have a winning game plan, we can confidently create it and we can consistently execute it. That's where we want to get to today is that mindset. When you see WIN, we're asking the question, what's important now? And believe me, when you leave here today, you will ask that question over and over. What's important now? Recognize your success on a daily basis to give yourself a reason to be confident. Your confidence definitely impacts your performance. Confidence, focus, self-discipline, competitiveness, and a winning game plan. It's the choices we make in our thinking that directly influences our actions. When we use the word coaching voice, we're actually talking about the voice in your own head. And we hope that it's encouraging. We want it to be inspiring. We want it to be mentoring. Some of us have a coaching voice that is just that, right? It tells us we are wonderful. It tells us we can do it. Your winning game plan comes from great thinking. you recognize your thinking, you can refocus. Refocusing is just about, I used to think this way, and now I will think this way. Are you choosing the mind of a champion all day, every day? Thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to results. In order for you to perform your best, win accounts and develop the mind of a champion, let's review the facts. Your mind is powerful and you have the ability to control your mind. I welcome you to apply this to every area of life. It, well, it looks like you just have fun when you speak, don't you? <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it's very interactive. Okay, what's your favorite story of a, of a client you helped? Oh, there are so many and so uh, such interesting topics. So let me tell you about a PGA golfer. Uh, we had just started working together, and we had a very fun way of figuring out what he was thinking. So um, you know, we'll say your thoughts lead to your actions, your actions lead to your results. And so I needed to figure out what he was thinking. He was jumping on a plane. I said, "Hey, let me interview your golf clubs." And obviously, golf clubs can't talk, so he would have to interpret. And we we had some funny clubs. One I named his college drinking buddy because they would get in. Uh, have so much fun together that they would get in trouble. And so we got to do things like that. But his real interesting club was his six iron. And he told a story about how if I had interviewed his club, his club would say, you know, he doesn't really like me much. Um, usually I lead to a bogey, which if you're not a golfer, that's not a good thing. And um, we always have to play to the big part of the green. And so I told him, look, you have to either have a different story or that club can't come out of your bag. And so we created a new story where the, the six iron now says, hey, I am who I am. I don't spend much, so we play to the big part of the green. But he loves his putter so much that I am good for his game when he needs me. And so it was a really interesting way to change his mind with his six iron so that every time he grabs his six iron, now he has a new story to tell rather than I could lead to a, bo a bogey, which is a lack of commitment there. So I've used that same uh, interview style with organizations. And I say, hey, look, here's all the products that are listed on your website or your uh, processes or your services. If I could interview them, uh, what would they say? And, you know, you might have a, a, a familiar product and it would say, hey, I used to be your best friend, but now you seem like you're mad at me all the time. And so when you get to those thoughts, you realize, huh, that's, there's a reason that my sales numbers aren't where they should be with this. Mm -hmm. And anytime we can figure out what you're thinking, then we can change those thoughts. We can create some new habits in your thinking and we can end up with different results, which is really fun. I think I've never come across any kind of um, executive search firm that, that has a person like you on their team. I mean, it's very unique. 
It is, but it's becoming more popular. Mm -hmm. And so because of the work that we do at Chartwell Partners, um, really where we're at more consulting and advising on not just who you need today, but who you'll need in five years, we get asked to do the leadership advisory piece. And a lot of times it's just for the C-suite, but we even have some technology-assisted coaching where we can help an entire organization be able to coach and develop their entire team. Okay, and the little time we have left, uh, tell the person watching at home uh, how would they know when they need to bring in Chartwell Partners? Oh, that is a really good question. So either you have an immediate need right now to uh, de uh, to find someone a placement today. So somewhere in your C-suite, you need a new uh, a new executive or you know that there's going to be somebody retiring, you've got a succession coming up. Uh, if you've got a two to five year window, that's a real sweet spot where we come in and help you figure out if you really do have candidates internally or if you need to go out for a search, we can help that process. You might have someone internally, we work for a couple of years and we realize they're really not a candidate. Well, the great thing is, is we can bring in somebody from the outside either to help you decide that your internal is correct or to say, no, there is somebody better outside. So you have a confident decision rather than defaulting to the person who's there right now. Outstanding. That's a great way to leave this segment. And we're also going to leave with the website, which is chartwellpartners.com. The great Dr. Julie Bell. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.